morning guys and welcome to another video in the kitchen with pen and today we are doing a taste test video um i don't know about you but sometimes a bowl of heinz soup is literally like the advert it really is a hug in a mug so we thought well it's, they're like about 95 pence a tin aren't they they're really expensive but you can buy cream of tomato soup for around the 40p mark i will look exactly how much they are and let you know so today we are doing a taste test heinz cream of tomato soup versus aldi bramwell's cream of tomato soup so what i'm going to do is i'm going to heat these both up as i normally would then I'm going to split them between four bowls. So, and my bowls are quite deep, so there'll only be a little bit in there. But it's so that we can both have a taste test and see which we prefer. If there is a difference, can we tell the difference? Is the cheap one going to be better or are they both the same? So, come along in whilst we taste test Heinz versus Bramwell's. Well, I've poured them both into the saucepans and they're on the hob as we speak. And the immediate difference I notice is that's the Bramwell can and that's the Heinz can. So you can see that the Heinz appears much thicker to start. In fact, there's still some in the Heinz to come out. So that's difference one colour difference to be quite honest with you it's not actually that noticeable but come across and you can see well can you see what i mean there really isn't a great deal of difference in the colour of them but it's the taste what counts so we'll be back to see Right then, the soups are bubbling away. I've even used separate spoons so there's no cross-contamination whilst I'm stirring. So come down and have a look. Right, there you go. And the next time you see these, they will be in our bowls ready to sample. Right, I have um, two bowls of soup in front of me. Um, I'm going to take a taste test of uh, both of them um, and then I will let you know which one I think is best. Well, in fact, what I'll do is I'll test them uh, and then Penn will test hers and then we can both say at the same time which one we prefer. I don't know what they are. Um, I, I know one is Heinz, but I'm not sure what the other one is. Okay, so I'm going to test it now and... Um, that's so you can see that on the this is bowl A apparently. I've not put any seasoning in, which isn't like me anyway. As those of you who have watched my cup of soup know. A B. There's actually not a lot of difference between them, in my opinion. Very similar in colour, and pen's probably already said that. A slight difference in texture. I'm not sure which one is which, but they taste the same. So I'm going to put you over to Pen and let her tell you what she thinks. Right, the same as Steve. Okay. I have. Okay. Yeah, yeah, right. sorry. <laughs> the same as Steve. I have bowl A and bowl B. And uh... <coughs> this is me coughing. Right, this is... I do know which is which, but. I'm not going to, I'm trying not to let that have any um, effect. I usually put 
lots of black pepper and salt in my tomato soup so I haven't done anything we're having it in the raw oh amazing Right now on to B. Right. They, let's come up, sorry. They do taste incredibly similar, but for me, one holds in the mouth more. It coats your mouth more. But we'll finish eating and we'll let you know what we think. Well, that's both bowls empty because they were nice. But if you push me, I'd have a favourite. But price wise, seriously, go for the shop's own brand. I remember when I was a kid, the shop's own brand used to taste horrible and realistically now the difference is well negligible to zero so save yourself the money save yourself paying 95p for a tin of soup spend 40p on a tin of Bramwell's cream of tomato soup I will let you know exactly which one I preferred because I don't want to influence Steve because bear in mind I knew which was which once he's given his verdict Right, this is uh, Steve Reviews Plus One. Um, for me, and you know, uh, those of you who have watched me now know I'm honest and I will give um, an honest review. The difference wasn't even worth worrying about. Um, you know, unfortunately, I don't um, worry about what's left in my mouth. And the feeling pen is a bit more of a connoisseur than I am. I'm just someone who used to work in the building site. Um, I believe there is no difference in those. Um, I t tasted them without salt and pepper, which is something I don't do. The forty p and they were, and in fact, when we paid, bought that can, it was thirty nine p. So it had gone up as everything else has. Um, in fact, the difference was so minuscule that I actually took both into one bowl. Um, so I don't really have a favourite um, because, as far as I'm concerned, all soups uh, you have to adjust the seasoning to your taste. So save yourself some money, as Penn has just said, and um, if you've got an Audi's near you, give it a go. Let us know what you think. Um, you may disagree. You may think that the um, Heinz was far superior. I don't. You'll be wasting your money. Go for the Aldi's. Try Lidl's. Maybe that's something we can do. Um, we have a Lidl's to taste. Soon. So, there you go. If you like the videos, give us a thumbs up. Um, what would be nice, I'm going to be reaching uh, an age I never thought I was going to get to. And until Wednesday, um, I haven't. Um, so it would be lovely if uh, we got some likes and uh, a few more subscribers. So um, I'll pass you back to Penn. See you next time. And uh, you know what I'm going to say? Keep cooking. To, to be honest, I think Steve pretty much covered everything there. But yeah, the hind soup for me... It did, it was thicker, you could you could tell. And <clears throat> I've loved Heinz soup since I was a kid, so maybe that had an influence as well. Perhaps if, I, if I'd have been doing a blind tasting, I wouldn't have known, but I think I would have. Um, but yeah, all you who may say, oh no, I only, I only have Heinz soup, I don't have um, shop zone brand soups. Honestly, give this a go. Do it as a blind taster, get your other half to cook you up a couple of bowls. You see if you can tell the difference. So, as always, thanks for watching. Please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to share, like, comment 
and subscribe and we'll see you again very soon in the kitchen with Pen. Bye bye. If you like what we're doing, don't forget to give us a like. If you'd like to subscribe, click on our picture here. If you want to see more videos of what we get up to, click here. Thanks for watching. Bye.